Welcome back to the Tool Crib. Today we are going to be looking at the Leatherman Mutt EOD. Now this is going to be a specifically geared multi-tool for those in the military, but more specific than that, it's going to be for EOD technicians. And while it has a lot in common with the standard Leatherman Mutt, uh, there are some definitely some key differences that set it apart to make it an EOD tool. And we're going to highlight each of those different items. Uh, this is a multi-tool that I waited a long time to add to my collection, more so because it was just cost prohibitive. And it's not something that I really needed, but because I'm a collector, I eventually added it to, uh, uh, just recently added it to my collection. So let's go through the specs first, and then we will check out the tools and functions of the Leatherman Mutt EOD. All right, let's get through the specs first. So overall length on this is four and seven eighths of an inch. Uh, that's going to translate to about 124 millimeters. It's going to be, you know, size-wise, overall footprint, the Mutt and the Mutt EOD are going to be the two largest multi-tools that Leatherman actually makes. Now, they're not quite the heaviest, but they're definitely, as far as frame size goes, uh, definitely the biggest. So, inch and a half in overall width, or about 38 millimeters, and the depth on it is about uh, three quarters of an inch. But if you include the pocket clip, it sticks out a little further, makes it a little wider, and that brings out to just right at a full inch. So uh, 19 millimeters and 25 millimeters respectively. Well, let's uh, start going through the tool set of the Mutt EOD. Before we hop into the tools, there's a couple things I wanna point out that come with the Mutt EOD. So the first is gonna be the Molly compatible sheath. Now this is available in two different colors. I elected to get mine in tan because I already had a black version, but the, those are the two colors available, tan and black. Now it comes with a couple of really robust side pockets here. So if you want to add stuff like flashlights or whatnot to it, uh, you definitely have the ability to do so. Obviously Molly compatible, so it's going to attach to all your gear and packs. And the tool that comes extra with it is the sight adjustment tool. So you have a two prong sight adjustment tool and a three eighths wrench. Now my older version, uh, they've changed this from the original. So the older version came with a double uh, wrench. It had three eighths on one side and half inch on the other. But I think you can only get this one now. They've completely switched it over just to just the sight tool. And it has a spot for it right here on the back. So we can carry very nicely with the sheath. Now, one of the things that I forgot to mention with the Mutt, uh, regular Mutt review was the fact, well, first of all, this is hook and loop. Uh, was the fact that you definitely you have a pouch back here for the bit sleeve that is just right up here in front So you can carry a single bit sleeve with you now I want to caution you about one thing is that you definitely want to make sure that you have the bits facing out Because I learned this the hard way uh, If you turn them around the other way what will happen is the hem on this material will actually catch on those bits and it makes it very, very difficult to pull out. So always make sure if you're gonna utilize that that you put the bits uh, facing forward so as to eliminate that problem. All right, let's get into the tool set of the Mutt EOD. First tool that we're gonna look at is gonna be the knife blade. Now, normally I'm not a fan of combo blades. It, I'm okay with it in this tool, I was okay with it in the Mutt and it's, it's more due to the blade design. So, because of the blade shape, it really gives you a, a, a decent amount of usable length at the front of the blade for the standard blade. They're gonna be about one and seven eighths of an inch. Uh, then you get a, a full inch of pretty aggressive serrated blade up at the, uh, at the back. So that's uh, two and seven eighths overall. It's about 72, 73 millimeters, somewhere in there. Um, now, another thing with the Mutt EOD, here's, here's the regular Mutt. Now, you can get the Mutt with stainless or black oxide tools, where in the EOD version it only comes in black oxide. So that's one thing I wanted to point out, differences between the two. Now, another thing about this knife blade is that it's built quite a bit thicker than what you find in your standard multi-tool. So I'm gonna set that down here, and I'm gonna bring in my Surge, and it's maybe a little bit difficult to tell. We'll try to set them side by side here. But the blade is definitely thicker on the Mutt EOD. In fact, I'm so curious about it that I want to check it out. We'll put a set of calipers on it. We'll just find out how, what the difference is. So if we get this in, it's already zeroed. And we'll check out the EOD version first. We're coming in at 0.126 inches. And if we check the surge, 
0.094. So quite a substantial difference uh, in the blade width itself or the thickness of the blade. So this is built quite a bit thicker, quite a bit more robust. All liner locked as well. So all uh, the two outside accessible tools, ex well, the two cutting implements are gonna be liner locked and they, they lock in very nicely. On the opposite side, we have the carbon scraper. Now, this is a bronze carbon scraper. Now, recently I reviewed the Leatherman uh, Super Tool 300M, the newest multi-tool that Leatherman houses, has out for 2020. And one of the things that uh, I wasn't aware of, I didn't think about it the right way. And another one of my viewers actually made a video on the 300M, work hardened. And one thing that he pointed out, which I want to make sure that I tell you about, is the fact that the reason that they don't bring that all to a sharper point is because you definitely want that little blunt edge up there for cleaning your rifles to get in different nooks and crevices. It just works better. And that's the reason why in the 300M, they didn't make it into a sharper point to be a, a better all. Uh, it is primarily a scraping tool, carbon scraping tool, but it also kind of double functions as an awl as well. Now this one will work as an awl. It's definitely not going to be as good as something like you get on the regular 300 or on the Leatherman Surge. The next tool that we're looking at is going to be one of the things that makes this the EOD version. Now this is the C4 Punch. It, uh, it is threaded on there so you can take it off. And if you wanted to, uh, if if you want to carry this separate, you can also add the, the knockdown punch. Uh, you'd have to buy it as an accessory from Leatherman, but it will screw onto the same thread. So if you wanted a punch down tool for your rifle, then you could obviously add that on as an accessory. The last tool on the outside, well, there's, I say the, I guess the last folding tool on the outside is going to be the saw blade. And the saw blades on these are these are both great saw blades on on both the regular version and this EOD version. And again, liner long, so they're very very stable. Now, a couple of other tools that are on the outside. First of all, there's the combination. This is a carabiner. Also works as a bottle cap lifter. So to make that work, you just slip it right over the bottle, and it has a really wide catch over here too for grabbing on to the bottom of bottle cap lids and just popping them right off. It really works very, very good. Then you have the integrated strap cutter here, which uh, is extremely, extremely sharp, as well as the integrated pummel. And that's one of the things that makes the Mutt EOD and the Mutt versions really unique. Now, the only other tool from Leatherman that offers that is the Leatherman Signal, but these were the first two multi-tools that integrated that uh, functionality into the multi-tool, which is, it, it, at the time it was, I, I can't remember except unless you wanted to buy some Chinese hammer multi-tool that is about worthless, but this is the, the first time they ever put a pummel into their uh, multi-tools was the Mutt and the Mutt EOD. Very, very good tool. Uh, also works as a bolt override tool. That's uh, something that I want to make sure I don't forget. So the bolt override tool, if you get a round jam, you have enough access here that you can hook in and release the round. Very, very important tool if uh, you are in the military for sure. Now, the, the uh, handles on the mutt, they're actually pretty loose. So what they do to secure it is they have a little catch here. Now you can, you can carry it without it uh, as long as it's in the sheath. I mean, it's not going to go flying open on you, uh, but they definitely add a little catch in here so you can lock it in place if you need to. Now, if we get it opened up, uh, actually, we'll just open it up to here so we can get access to the bit holder. Now, the bit holder on the Leatherman Mutt is very nice, actually, and this thing is really in there solid. So to do to uh, release the bit, you actually have to press at the very front of this, and then that'll give you access to release the bit. But if you don't have that, that catches in there so solidly. It's really kind of amazing how much it really catches into that little notch of those two-sided bits. So it comes with your uh, combination number one, number two Phillips and a 316 straight driver. And then one of the greatest things about the Mutt, 
series of tools uh, is the onboard storage for those bits. So when not in use, you can just slip them in uh, to the side here and they carry very nicely. Now the next thing with the MUT is the fact that they have a couple of extra onboard uh, bits, elongated bits for working on your rifles for your sights and stuff. So to release them, it has that very unique uh, catch here. So that it's integrated in the frame. So you, when when you're not using those bits, it sits center. But when you want access to either side, you just press it over and then you just pop it down and you'll be able to pull out the, the double-sided bit for whichever side you want. So the first one is a 764 Allen head and the other side is T15 uh, Torx. And then those will also fit right into the bit kit. So you definitely have a lot longer reach with these bits as well. And these are also available, if you ever lose one, they're available as accessories from Leatherman as well. So if we set that one inside and to get to the other one, uh, you slip it over and again, pop it right out. Now to uh, to put it back in, it's, it's interesting how they did the clip there. You see the access hole there. To get it back in, you just slip it in. You can pop it down and then set the catch there so it doesn't go anywhere. Okay, now let's see if we manage to make sure we got everything on the outside. It does appear so. Now it does come with the integrated clip. This one is going to be a black oxide clip as opposed to uh, the titanium one that you get on the regular Leatherman Mutt. And I think this has been changed recently because if I remember pictures of the uh, older Mutt EOD versions, I'm pretty sure they had the titanium clip, but I can't be 100% certain about that. I'm going to have to go back and research that a little bit. So now we'll get it opened up. Now, because you have all those interesting tools on the outside, you don't have any tools on the inside. So now we're just left with the pliers. And these are going to be specific to uh, for EOD tech. So they're going to come with a the needle nose, and then it has the cap crimping tool, as well as a pair of wire cutters, and then it has stranded wire cutters behind and a wire crimper as well. Now, let me bring my surge back in here real quick because I wanna highlight this. Uh, these look very similar overall, but they're, uh, except for, you know, the, the obvious reason of the, uh, the cap crimper, they look very similar in, uh, in design, but actually the EOD version and the regular MUT version, they come down to a much finer point uh, than you get with like the standard Leatherman Surge, which is here on the left. Also integrated into them, you have 832 female threads, which act as a, uh, where if you close it up, you have access to it here on the side where you can uh, screw in your cleaning rod and use it as a T handle if you, for whatever reason, were to lose or misplace your T handle or if you just had a, a bad one. Uh, does offer a little bit of extra functionality as far as that is concerned. Now, I don't know anything about EOD. I mean, I know the basics, but uh, having never experienced that, I, I, the way I understand it, this cap crimper is pretty much universal, but there are, there's like NATO versions and then there's other versions from other countries. So I don't know if that's kind of standard just in the U.S. Armed Forces or if it's different across the board. And maybe if someone has some experience with that, I would appreciate if you chime in and let us know in the comments section uh, if that is in fact accurate. Now, one of the things with this particular uh, multi-tool is the fact that the wire cutters are a lot different than what you get in the standard leather and multi-tools. And I'm actually gonna pull them out. We're gonna take a little closer look at those right now. Now to remove the cutters, all you need is a T8 Torx. I'm actually using a security Torx because that's just what's in my set, but they're pretty easy to, to uh, remove and replace. So let me unscrew both of these and then we'll take a little closer look at what makes them different. If I can get positioned here correctly, mine's magnetic, so it tends to wanna to wander on me every now and again. All right. So, the EOD version will be on the right. The standard version will be on the left, if we can get that to focus in a little better. So you'll notice that on the 
I need a little pointer, and all I got is just a ballpoint pen. Uh, you'll notice on the EOD version, it has full cutters. And on the standard version, it has the little angle up front, as well as it has a little wider shelf, which I'll get it flipped around so we take a little better look at that. But then it also has the little notch back here for your hardwire cutters. You'll also notice that they're shaped a little bit differently. So this is a little more squared off on the back end and this one is rounded. And the reason I do that is so that they cannot be interchanged with one another. Now let me get them flipped around here. See if we can get that to focus in. You can see, if we can get the lighting right, that uh, the, the standard version is gonna be quite a bit thicker at the cut edge where in the EOD version, it is extremely sharp there. So it comes down to a very nice point. Let me put these back in uh, to the multi-tools and I'll show you uh, what a difference in cutting that makes on, on your soft wires. Okay, so I've got a little piece of uh, 10 gauge stranded wire and I chose 10 gauge because it's gonna kind of highlight it a little better. So first we're gonna cut this with the EOD version. And you can see that makes a very nice cut. There's no deformity in the wire itself. It's still nice and round. Let me uh, see if I can get a hold of this so we can look at this and compare the two. Now with the, with the uh, Leatherman Surge, which is my multi-tool of choice, it is a little, first of all, it's a little bit tougher. Now you can cut it down here, kind of crimp it with the hard wire cutters and then get it back. It just wants to try to slip out because it's just not as sharp. So if we cut that, then we can set them side by side. Now, while the surge has no problem getting through there, you can see just how much of a cleaner cut on a soft wire this uh, MUT EOD version, those, those more precise cutters make on just standard copper wire, where in the surge, uh, they get crimped down a little bit. Now, I will say that mine, it still has the original cutters. These are the 154 CM replaceable cutters. They have since changed that into what they call their premium hardwire cutters, which are actually, they, they come down to a little finer point. They actually cut it, uh, cut this type of material a little bit better. They're not quite as deformed. So you see about half the deformity that you're seeing in this 10 gauge with the newer style cutters. And it's what they're shipping out with all their multi-tools now. So if you do have an older version, you can switch it out for the newer style cutters, which are not 154 CM. They, so far, I haven't been able to determine or find uh, any uh, literature on what type of metal or steel they're using in the newer cutters. But you will definitely see an improvement uh, in your soft wire cutting capabilities. Unfortunately, they, because of the different shape design here on the back side of these different cutters, you cannot interchange the EOD version into your regular multi-tools. You can go the other way if you wanted to, I do believe. I, I don't think there's any restrictions that would, would uh, cause it not to work in there. But it would definitely, uh, you definitely can't go the other way without some, some modification to it. All right, let's uh, let's go through, and I'll tell you what I really like about the Leatherman Mutt EOD. One thing about the Mutt EOD is that it is specifically built for a specific group of people, not just in the military, but specifically EOD techs within the military. And for that reason, this is not uh, you know there's not much that I don't like about there. In fact, there's nothing that I don't like about this multi-tool from the way they designed it originally to the present. It's just been, I think they did it pretty much as perfect as they could have done it for this particular tool. Now it's not your all day, every day, you know, uh, kind of multi-tool like a Leatherman Surge or a Leatherman Wave or Super Tool or Rebar or something like that. This is not geared for people like me. This is geared for specific military use only. And the, the, everything about it is just, I love how they integrated stuff like the, the hammer, the strap cutter, the carabiner with the, uh, with the bottle cap lifter there. I love how the onboard bit storage is on there. That's something we don't see in multi-tools a lot. There's a couple out there that have some onboard bit storage, but the Mutt series of tools really does it right. Uh, that is something that I, was, I find fascinating about both the Mutt and the Mutt EOD 
is how they integrated those into the tool itself, which is that I just think that is great engineering. It really is. The only thing that I would probably change if I was in control of something like that would be, I would probably just go with the standard blade, even though I, I'm okay with this blade. I still would prefer just a, a regular blade. And the reason I say that is because this is going to get through uh, rope with just a regular blade. If you've got a super sharp blade, you're going to have no problem with it. Though I do personally like a serrated blade for that task. But the reason I really say that is because it has the web cutter or the strap cutter on the front. And I think you could get away with just putting a regular blade on here. Uh, one of the tools that I love about this is obviously for rifle care is the carbon scraper. That's a phenomenally good tool. Maybe, you know, I said I wouldn't change anything, but I might take the saw out. I don't know. Uh, it's kind of give and take. You know, some guys are going to say, no, you definitely need a saw. And some guys are going to say, no, you definitely need to file. Maybe this is the right one. Uh, I'm okay with it the way it is. Actually, I'd be okay with it if they did it either way. If they had a file instead of a saw or a saw instead of the file like they do. At any rate, this is the Leatherman Mutt EOD. I think it's one of the coolest looking multi-tools out there. Uh, just, it's just nice. And something I have absolutely no need for, but I had to have it. My name is Ben, and you've been watching the Texas Tool Crib and my review of the Leatherman Mutt EOD. Hope you've enjoyed and I'll see you in the next one.